on this overwhelming episode of the NES Pursuit. I, I smell cardboard. Kind of reminds me of a comic book store. NES Complex, Mikey, Riff, Ricky, and Gabo come back to the giant sealed game warehouse that left everyone begging for more answers. What a guy. The boys all dive into the retro realm seeking vintage victory. This is what the things that I'm collecting lately, rare stuff like this. Look at this. Bobby answers the questions everyone's been asking. Where did you come across or how did you get most of this, the sealed area? We understand like a lot of the loose stuff you have and all that, but all the sealed stuff, how did you kind of acquire a mass majority of close to 10,000 sealed games? As the day ends, the remainder of the bunch head to GameStop, only to have drama strike their path. And this one, no? Yeah, we're not, there's no, you guys have a permit or? Squad, assemble and get ready for unknown history, lifting bodies, answered desires, and mad managers. This is the NES Pursuit. Besides it being super loud out here today, the whole squad, and I mean we got the whole entire squad, our logo, all of us on the squad going to Bobby's today. I don't know if I ever told you, it's a beautiful day. So it's gonna be our second time to Bobby's. I am so excited because we did not get to see all of it. This is gonna be amazing, I'm hoping. Let's do it, I'm excited. Look at the world today. Oh, and by the way, um, we would be filming already, but we're waiting. Um... Ricky, can you please tell me where the heck are you? We're starving, bro. We would be filming already, but we're, uh, we're waiting for Ricky. He's late, as always. He already made us change the time earlier to later, and now he's late again, and we have to change the time back even further, so. Come on, uh, in and out. Oh we my god. Come on. What do they say, but classic Ricky, being late once again. I smile, but on the inside, hurry the frick up, Ricky. Can you hear my belly? <laughs> but we have a mission this time. We're excited because yes, last time we got the shock and awe and jaw-dropping moments of seeing almost 10,000 sealed retro games and the surprise there. But now we're going with the mission. Let's buy some things. Let's have fun. We got NES Complex. Mikey, me, Ricky, Gabo. We're ready to go just to buy some stuff. Let's do it. Let's see what we can get. Finally. Just, it's not gonna be just Switch games, okay? Calm down. It's gonna be great. I got all the boys. We got, dude, we got all the boys today. Woo, this <laughs> gonna be so good. 100 episodes later, Still late. Hey. <laughs> Still late. Well, I just like that his mu Do you see this? His mustache is growing thicker. I'm just glad you have a mustache now. You like this? I don't feel alone anymore. And it took me a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, going back to Bobby's. Do you have anything in mind in particular that you think you're going to want to get? I'm going directly to PS1. PS1? Yes. Ricky? I don't know. Truth be told, I might go for Wii games. Ricky going for Wii. That's good. <laughs> Wii is... For, I, I, well, I'm all about the Wii and Wii right now. So well, it's like, retro now. Yeah. I kind of I kind of want to see if I can somehow, without paying a ton of money, I know it's Bobby's business, so we can't try to swindle him, so to say. But I hope to get something like a sealed, one of those sealed NES games. That would be sick. I'm actually kind of down for Impossible Mission 2 because I played that a lot as a kid. Alright, I can't see anything. Okay, hey, I don't can't, know where I'm hey, at. He's seeing the video, obviously, but it's different to take I, it in. Smell first. Yeah. What do you smell? Do you smell seals? Not seals. Seals? Sealed. <laughs> no, SeaWorld. I, I smell cardboard. Kind of reminds me of a comic book store. Is that fair? Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah, get yeah. that! Smell. 
So I can't believe I finally got to come here and meet up with everybody. Uh, last time I was supposed to be here, but I had a trip scheduled to the East Coast and I just couldn't make it. This is way bigger, way taller. Cause when I saw it, it was something like this big. This is huge. So I'm super stoked to finally actually be here and I can't wait to find out what I'm gonna find and take out with me. I mean, I, I feel like there's more here than in the, the back, uh, like when we were kids and we would go to the counter at Toys R Us with our little ticket and, and pick up the game. You'd always see in the back, there'd be stacks of games, but there's more here by far than there ever yeah, was there. Yeah, for sure. So we came in here automatically. We, like we said, we already have a plan of, we don't need to do the shock and awe of looking. We just want to see the stuff. And Bobby's like, oh, I have like an extra space where he just kind of has random games lying around and stuff. So right now, that's where we're at and kind of where we're planting ourselves. It feels a little more game hunty, you know, not his like sealed masterpieces. We don't want to, we kind of don't want to mess with those. We're looking at these, kind of the, the randoms he has thrown everywhere. And they're not so random. Let me be real with you. You know how it is, that sort of speechless thing where you don't know what to say about what you're seeing. So I get here and man, it's everything that I thought it was. No, it's not. It's actually way more impressive than I thought it was because I didn't realize how tall the ceilings were gonna be. This place reminds me of that last scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark when he's taking the, the Ark and he's putting it in one spot and it pulls back and it's just everywhere. To this, I, I mean, this ceiling's gotta be 40 feet tall. Oh, it's insanity. There's like, like a bunch of more stacks of stacks of NES games and Super Nintendo and 64 and Sega Genesis of retro games, 64, Super Nintendo, NES, Genesis, Master System. It's like all these games, there's tons of games and I don't think Riff even knew there was Master System I yet. I didn't know, I wanted to <laughs> <camera> down. <laughs> as soon as I said that, he looked over. <laughs> And so I, I immediately, I just start digging. I'm all business today, you know. I, I don't have a lot of time. I have to get out of here actually pretty soon. So I don't have a lot of time and I'm just digging and digging. And I, I stumble upon uh, Shadow of the Ninja in the box. Okay, hey, so I'm, I'm interested in Chrysalis and Empire, Super Empire Strikes Back and a box, Shadow of the Ninja. Two player, awesome. I love Shadow of the Ninja, so I'm wanting to get that. And I also find a few other things that are maybe not as rare or or that big of a deal, but just stuff that I had to sell at one point. SNK, can't go wrong with that. <laughs> That's a great game. Yeah, well, hopefully the save battery works. Uh oh, well I can I can do some magic if I have to. I don't have Super Empire Strikes Back. You can't go close, you can't go wrong with the <laughs> Star Wars classic game too. I don't know how I don't have this. And I, I have Super Star Wars for Super Nintendo, so I was looking for that, and I saw that. And there were a bunch of things that I saw that I was interested in, but so little time. But honestly, the Shadow Ninja, that is the beauty of the bunch. Oh, it is a beauty. Yeah, it's, it was the pricey one, too. That's the only one, that's a hard one. I don't know how, how we're going to price that Look one. Look at the label on this, too. You know me. And so I'm thinking I might have to spend a pretty penny. But, you know, Bobby's an awesome dude. He, he knows that I'm a collector and he wants to work with me. And so we, we talk it over, we kind of think about it, and, the, and we shake on a price. Oh, wait, I missed his hand. I feel like I got a pretty good deal. So in case you don't know, Shadow of the Ninja is a two-player co-op game. It's like Ninja Gaiden, but also like Contra because of that two-player action. That thing is in pristine condition. Just like Ricky. So I'm super stoked to get this, but not just to get it, but to get it in the box and to get it in this good condition. So Bobby, thank you so much. Bobby, you're awesome. I don't know if I ever told you I love complex. Do you wanna see the Switch games? The, the comment section said we should buy more Switch games. Oh, and there's a PS4 games. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you I like Shooters! So I want Sega. Is that how you say Segaya? Segaya? Segaya, I think. Segaya. Well, cool. What's what's about Segaya? Let's go with that. Okay. Yeah. So I got Segaya on the Genesis because it looks pretty bomb. I haven't tried it yet, but the gameplay footage that I've seen on it, ever since I watched it, I wanted it, and I'll never find it complete. It's dude. I think this is the first one I've seen, and it wasn't even out in the wild, and kind of bummed out. But. I got it. Double Dragon 3, Ooh. and another game I've been wanting ever since I got Punisher, because that is a great, great game for the Genesis, is Double Dragon 3. Riff had it, and for some reason, I didn't ever borrow it from him. So now I got my own to play, sucker. So one of the games I'm actually really excited for, 
I know it's nothing special, but to me it is. Sin and Punishment, but my last game, I'm really excited for it. Sin and Punishment. I know a lot of people hate on Wii. I don't, I love the Wii. The Wii's beautiful. It's a great shooter game. That It started on the N64, but we didn't get it because it was only a Japan exclusive. Can't believe Japan did that to me. But it's such a beautiful game. I actually heard about it from Riff, who heard about it from Metal Jesus. So I had to get Sin and Punishment, one of those games that everyone's talking about. All right, so what are we looking at, Bobby? What's the damage? We'll do a good deal for you, don't worry. I got you covered. Thank you, sir, thank you. And it's Seal! Nah! Thank you. Oh, did I get you with my glasses? Yeah, some people hate that. I know. You know what I tell them? Shut up and enjoy gaming! I had to let that out. <laughs> it's an addiction. <laughs> Ricky! Dude! They have it. Whoa. Dude, that 15 years of searching, day in and day out, we found out the most uncommon. <laughs> it's the game chaser! Dude, it's signed! Oh, oh my it's God. God. Wait, I actually have that signed. <laughs> I have to be serious. Yeah. I do have that signed. Wow. Beautiful. For me, something that I really wanted and kind of planned on getting was a boxed NES game. One of those sealed NES games. Oh, all right, what I need, what I, what I need. I need, I, I don't, almost don't even care which one, but I need an NES game sealed. One of those sealed NES games that he showed me. And again, for me, seeing Impossible Mission 2 last time. But I have sealed NES games. Well, here and there. I need a clean, one of these. But you told me you love Impossible Mission. Do you have that? I don't have it sealed. This is really what I want. This is like where I'm like, Bobby, when I left, I kind of whispered to you on the way out last time, like, I really want to get an Impossible Mission 2. Weirdly enough, it's one of those nostalgic games for me. An odd game. Yeah, 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 we talked about this last time, bro. Impossible Mission 2, sealed, clean, mint. But I asked Bobby the price, and no, I'm not gonna say it because everyone will say, hey, that's the deal I should get. How much would you sell me one for? But before you give me a price, Remember, I like your shoes. Well, let's just say when Gabo heard the deal, we'll get you a good price for you. He was he was a little jealous. I got Impossible Mission 2 on the NES sealed for a steal of a deal. I don't know if you could talk about it in camera, uh -oh. but we'll get you a good price. Because then everyone will be like, I want that price. Yeah, you know. Were you jealous? You heard the real price. Uh, I'm jelly, yeah. He's jelly. Yeah, I'm jelly. <laughs> Aaron, you're a buddy, so Mr. Riff, we gotta take care of you. Okay. Uh, you know, it's just how it works sometimes. Okay. But I'm proud of you, you got it. I did. Now you have a piece of history. I do, I, like a pizza history, as Gabo said. <laughs> and I won't show the price, but I'm also buying this Mario hat. It's for me, Riffio. I love pizza history. I don't know if I, I ever told, told you that, that I, I love, love the pizza. weather out here. Oh, I tried. Oh, no, no, no. Nah, it's either Capcom, the... Resident Evil, Iron Maiden, or Walking Dead. That's what follows the did I ever tell you. It is what but it is, whatever. whatever. Shut up. Shut up! What else? So I think it's interesting that a lot of people saw like us hanging out in the Game Boy area yeah. and like certain areas, but the, what they didn't see is all the other collections, the sure. Xboxes, the DS, the PlayStation 1s, the PlayStation 2 collections. And the biggest question a lot of people had is, and of course you go into much detail as you want, you're comfortable of with course. as a store owner, as a business owner, which people need to respect. Of course. This is your line of work. Where did you come across, or how did you get most of this, the sealed area? We understand like a lot of the loose stuff you have and all that, but all the sealed stuff, how did you kind of acquire a mass majority of close to 10,000 sealed games? We've been in the industry for about 25 years. Full time myself is about 20 years. Uh, I've been the purchasing manager for the company, so, I've done a lot of this acquisition. We used to supply retailers 
small retailers, national retailers. So we've been in the business for a long time. So it's not like I just came to today and just got these to, um, like yesterday or something. We've acquired this after 20, within the 25 years of just being in business. Now did you guys seek out, because I think the most impressive thing is the fact that these are sealed. The yeah. big majority of the sell of what all this is, is the fact that they're sealed. Now yeah. did you seek out mostly sealed stuff or did it just work out that most of the stuff you got through the years Happen to be sealed. That's or that's actually been our company focus. Has always been sealed games. Oh, yeah, like, okay, I didn't know that. That's yeah. a big answered question. Yeah, because that's what we do. We bring stuff. We work with companies. Get titles that are no longer in print. Like right there, we have Fiddle Frame One, Two, and Three. Those are games that have been Absolutely. out of print for such a long time. We make sure we get the games that people want. Got it. At a reasonable price. A lot of comments I was reading, they're like, "Oh, you're hoarding and ever X Y Z." They don't realize we're a business. We're not just. I'm not an individual just carrying stuff and holding stuff just for fun. Yeah, I think that was a misconception, maybe even on our part too, a little of the way we title the videos a find or whatnot, yeah. but who knows? Yeah, yeah, but there's, I, I mean, a lot of people don't know the, maybe the history and I don't know if I can get into the detail that people want, but yes, we're a business. We're not just, I'm not an individual just keeping stuff and hoarding it. One of our old sayings it. on our old show yeah. was at the end of every show, we'd say, keep gaming fun. Yeah. Like stop stressing out exactly. about everything. Keep gaming fun. The whole reason video games were started for the most part as a consumer stance is to be have fun with games. Exactly. So and I, like, I mean, them. just because, I mean, we're adults, we can still enjoy video yeah. games. I mean, for me, I enjoy collecting that aspect yeah. of it though. Stop. The new Stranger Things uh, trailer said, there's a line where they say, what are we gonna do? Stay in our basements, play video games for the rest of our lives? Yes. Yes, we are. There's a lot of us out there. <laughs>
to this little area and he said, I got some yellow cart cr crates. I want to show you guys well, what the heck is in these. Why did you bring yeah, these here? So he takes us to this room and he tells us he bought recently, not like some NES games or even an NES collection, but he bought oh my, about 650 CIB NES games. I was like, what are you talking about? A complete boxed NES collection, not all sealed. Oh, I'm ready to show you guys. This is going to be like a surprising one because honestly, this is my personal collection. So this is... This is my personal fetch. I re recently got it. And this is NES. Yes, and this is how I got it. That's let's good. see, can we see? No, let's, let's take a look. Oh, okay. But oh man, we go up there and we're opening bin after bin after bin and just seeing these games. Oh, oh, oh. look, right off the bat. Oh, okay. Oh. Right here off the bat. Okay, oh, Aladdin man. Deck Enhancer games, which recently I did an ABGN video, a dream come true, uh, about these. Norm did a video about these, but look at this. These, okay, obviously there's a reason these ones are on top. These are some of the, these are some of the gold of gold NES games for collectors out there. The stuff you collect last, like Power Blade 2, uh, J Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2, Bonk's Adventure, Metal Storm, Little Samson, oh, Circus Caper, Bucky O'Hare. And then we got- um, Holding all these games feels different and exciting because a lot of times when you see people's complete in box NES collection, you know, it's on shelves and it looks pretty, Holy that is crap. clean. And That's the really craziest nice. part, it has the original wrap still on there. So like, it's, it's mint as can be. Bobby's going to do that, but right now we get to dive our hands into everything, the Bonks games. The Crashing the boys. Box art's very deceiving too. It's a Techno Japan it, game with River City Ransom type. Yeah, really. It's literally River City Ransom, but with little kids? sports. Oh. Yep. Yeah, it's really fun. That sounds pretty fun. All the different Zelda games, all the rare games, the little Samsons. Two, three, four. Oh, oh, oh I actually might got it right. Oh, oh I got oh. Link right on top. Oh look, I got I got the comment section in our last video. I think I got Solstice. Wow. The Zen the Intergalactic Ninjas, the Chippendales 2, the random Color Dreams games. I had a lot of games that I haven't seen in a long time, so it made me very nostalgic. Fantastic. I'd say, in my opinion, by far the best shooter on the NES, Gun Knack. A very expensive game, a very good game, a pretty easy game too, I will say. So this felt amazing, and we enjoyed it like crazy but you know we're cracking these open and just putting our hands all over them is uh, pretty fun it feels pretty 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 collector-ish I love it say thank you to Bobby for always having us like come over here because I um, actually like coming over here to, to see all the games like to film these guys be stupid and loud this thing so what's going on so what's going this on thing. Like... Oh! We that good. Oh. again I want to make sure it's a good show. Oh. It's honestly gross, I'm not gonna lie. Man, your, your hands are super strong. Thank you. Right. And after that amazing time, yes, we are gonna swing by the retail place of doom that some people love and some people hate, but we enjoy. And I just wanna get one little item that I'm planning on getting at GameStop before they close. We better get going. Bye. Dead. Honey, I'm sorry. The, the only way she let me came today, she told me I have to buy some cakes from Susie Cakes. And guess what? It's close. So I'm dead. Probably gonna sleep with the dog today. I mean, tonight. So we get into GameStop, and I'm excited because I'm looking for a Xbox battery charger pack, an official Xbox brand when I have a lot of GameStop points. And we're looking around and we're excited and I'm excited to get my stuff and then the guys in there were super cool. So Gabo, guys, Gabo and Ricky. No, uh, no filming in this store. In this one, no? Yeah, we're not, there's no, you guys have a permit or? Then the manager comes in. We've done it before for two different GameStops. We're a show on Amazon Prime. Not saying we yeah. do anything, but they okayed it. Yeah, they, we've gotten. We never got okay from our district. We we spread love on this show, but let's just say he was less than enthusiastic about us filming. We respected it. No arguing back. 
Okay. Yeah, we normally would get like that. That's, that's okay. His store, his rules, just like we say on our show, our show, our rules. But in the end, I did find exactly what I wanted. I got my charger pack that goes into my new Xbox controllers for my beautiful new Xbox One X. So now I don't have to reuse AA batteries all the time. And I also picked up a steal of a deal. All the action figures that were less than 25 bucks were automatically five bucks. So I got the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Toys of Ryu versus Black Widow. Beautiful, clean, bendable figures for five bucks. That's a steal of a deal. So, regardless of them telling us not to film, I'm still happy. Thanks, GameStop. I don't know if I ever told you that I love GameStop. I, you know, when we went to GameStop, all this drama happened. But it's okay with me, I still got stuff. Oh, I got Ken, the Amiibo Ken, and then Cruisin' on the Wii, which is pretty cool. I didn't even know Cruisin' was on the Wii. So, Cruisin', Cruisin' USA. Hey, I love that game. It's so good. Fun day, hanging out with the boys. It was great to get everyone together. There's nothing like knowing our logo exists with all of us on there and every single one of us in our new logo was there together hanging out. It was a fun day. It was awesome to hang with all the squat. Gabo, th ah. this is, hey, honestly, a really cool gift, dude. Thank you kiss, so much. Wait, I need to give you a hug. Kiss, kiss. Oh, I, uh -oh. Thank you. Uh -oh. Thank you. No, just a real hug. That's the end of our day. We're gonna go have dinner and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it, honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Uh -oh. So there's many different versions of these. This one is for the Switch, or PC, or Mac, or Steam. Come on, smile. I am. <laughs> the oh! Overall, we're always happy. Being together with your friends is all that really matters here on this show. If you're new, if you're one of the new people that joined because of the last video, something you're gonna learn right away in our show, it's all about the brotherhood of the guys hanging out and having fun. Nice. You guys are amazing. Hasta la vista. I think I'm getting kicked out of my cart right now. I'll shut it off. Hey. How's it going? Oh. Hello. There you go. Have a good day. Is that dog from Back to the Future? I hope it repeats. Someday. Not someday. Someday. I literally don't know what you just said. Really? Here? No, it doesn't. It starts with an F, but it's not flowers. Oh boy! Okay! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I still have I still, to. Don't, don't bounce! Don't bounce! <laughs> Ricky. You should see him driving. He starts singing when he drives, and it's pretty funny. But at the same time, you're fearing for your life. Even the haters. All oh, 500. And the trolls. All the trolls. Yeah. And and very gassy too. Like today, everybody was gassy. Yeah, filming, filming. Oh, hello, welcome. Oh, my <laughs> bad. I told you, you got hard skin, bro. I really do. I'll be honest, normally we go into stores and managers like, are Super like oh, hey, Super oh, you cool. have a show? Awesome, free promotion, thank you so much, even if you're small or big. Ricky's actually the cleanest one today, you know? He's... Ricky, are you sure? No, I threw a couple items, sorry. <laughs> no stained boxes, though, that's the hey. yeah, thing. <laughs> Game cheesers are good, too, if you haven't seen them. I'm out of here. Nah, I'm joking, I love you. <laughs> so I was a little, a little salty. A little salty, Yabo is a little salty too. Wrap up the show, this guy's coming. Alright, so... Clean, honest, clean, clean. Unbelievable. I think the cleanest one today was Riff Fall. Riff Fall. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I, I was serious today. <laughs> <laughs> What are you Wait, doing up here? It was a secret! What are you doing up here? What are you guys doing? Bro, I'm gonna poop on you like a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Bro, oh, this tree's like an awesome plant. This is what we do. Oh my god, oh, gotcha. <laughs> people die. Gabo, catch him. Oh, oh no way. Why wouldn't I go loose? I love loose. I, I wanna buy to play. Wait, that one. <laughs> Look at this guy over here. What are you doing down here? Nothing? Nice. It's beautiful. Oh, it's Ah! Are you serious? You're welcome. You're the best. Come on! Gabo the sneaker. I can't do that. <laughs> I told you, man. I'm sorry. I told you, bro. Uh, well, it is what it is. Was a fantastic 
Exper he just farted on me. Yo, suck your buses, bro. People call us hipsters, so I, I wanted to, do, to even double my hipsterness. Great. For every one of them. Great. Yeah. We had to. We have yeah. to do it. Like, I should have more hipster too. I'm, I'm a poly. I wish I was in the queue. I don't know. Now people are going to be like, oh, oh, you guys are so stupid. Go, 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 go. You guys are being silly. Shut up! I'll be honest. I need to do this because last video, Rifo was like, oh, oh, you need to talk more. Oh, your narration sucks. Couldn't be serious for one minute, could you, Ref? We saved that for later, making fun of the internet. We're supposed to be serious. We'll make fun of the comments in the last video later, okay? Uh, this will probably be in the outtakes anyway. Um, out? Oh! 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 Hey, he wasn't lying. He said he works out his uh. every day. Come on. Go. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Uh, Incredible. Fine. It's legitimately scary. Oh, with I, 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 we I, almost got to get three car accidents on the way here. So <laughs> Pokemon. Nice. Wait, 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 wait. Fear of the dark. The stories were true. You're amazing. It's on his top ten Wii games. Wait, is it? Okay. It's good. Shut up, Shut up. Why are you still filming? Shut up. Shut up. I felt like no one else liked the mustache except me. Hey, it's not bad. I noticed that. It's I'm not, what the heck is on my back? Hey, look at me. I look like Rifle. Hey, hey, let me walk away. <laughs>